Hello and welcome to Rise to Shine. Writing correct spelling is a nightmare sometimes, isn't it? It is so dreadful. Is this the correct spelling? What is the correct spelling? Has anyone ever told you? Why can't you use a proper spelling? These days we use mobile phones and we do autocorrect all the time but sometimes even autocorrect can give up on you but don't worry you are not alone today we are going to learn about some of the words where spellings can be really tricky in English language, sometimes when we say a word, it sounds absolutely correct. So no one can actually guess that we are making mistakes. But when we write these spellings, it can be really frustrating to understand what is right, what is correct. Now, I am confused. Which right to use? Is it W R I T E or is it R I T E or is it R I G H T? See, this is where we get stuck. Many of us experience problems with English language spellings. That is a fact. Part of the reason for this may be that there are so many inconsistencies in English language. It gets very, very confusing. But do your spell check before you wreck yourself. Let's see some of the words where the words sound same. It's only when we write them the spellings we keep wondering whether we have written the correct spelling or not if we don't write correct spellings for example say if we want to write a letter or an essay paragraph poetry it can get very embarrassing to write wrong spellings if you want to write your CV or want to send a cover letter to a company. First word is dictionary. The correct spelling has an A in it and not N E R Y. Similarly, believe. But when the when it sounds, we hear leave like as in leave letter. So many of us get confused whether it is L E A V E while writing believe. Millennium, another word. Remember, there is double L and double N also. It's possession and not possession. Because session itself is a word, often we get confused whether it is one S for pose but it's so many s in possession it's 12th and not 12th the f is there in the spelling remember that it's tasty and not tasty i mean the e is not there the sound of e is there but it spells t a s t y so many restaurants I have seen, they write, we serve tasty food and the tasty spells T-E-S-T-Y. They are not testing your patience there, but you want to enjoy a tasty food there. 
it's gents g e n t s and not j e n t s because the word j the sound is j so most often people get confused in address remember there is a double d and a double s it's business and not b u i s n e double -S, s it's such a common mistake because we pronounce it as business but we write it as busyness i comes after s it's knowledge and not knowledge without a d remember to write d in your spelling you can improve your spellings and i will give you three important tips for it first one use a good dictionary i would suggest oxford or chambers they are good that will definitely help you to learn correct proper spellings always try to use the computer spell check whenever you are using a word document or any other microsoft ask your friend or a mentor to check your spellings if you are not able to write the correct spelling your friend can help your teacher can help your mentor or guide can help you to check your spellings that should be really helpful today's that should be really helpful for today's lesson do like our video hit the bell button and share it with your friends thank you so much